All right, it is a Tuesday, October the 19th, and it is 9.26 a.m. This is the main watch list. I try to clean it up and not make it as big as it was the other day, but um, IGEX will continue to be a morning panic bounce play. It's a sub penny. I don't necessarily like sub pennies, but that is a you know possibility. It doesn't trade too horribly. BTZI, I want to really consider this for a morning panic bounce play, but if it does something really, it has to be really clean, I might be interested in it. Otherwise, I'll just uh, leave it alone. Maybe it can do some kind of like, um, you know, uptrending price action, higher lows off of VWAP or red or green or something like that. And then I might be interested in doing something like that. So, um, again, maybe a morning panic bounce play if it looks clean. AOYI, I will consider for a morning panic bounce play as well. Although I honestly would like it to maybe just run a few more days, but um, if it looks nice, if it looks clean, I'll consider it. And only two of these are E-Trade stocks, SFOR, same idea, morning panic bounce play. Although this one is trying to play off of this one cent breakout level. So if it has, I mean, I'm not going to say it will, it probably won't. But if it were to have like a drop under a penny and maybe it hits to like 93, maybe it'll only get to like 98 and then it'll fail under one cent. I'll have to take that into consideration. But um, yeah, this could be a morning panic bounce play as well. PUGE looks like it's, I mean, it's pre-market action, but it is looking like it's trying to break out of this range. Uh, this is the one I was interested in for a swing trade. You know, even though I never really traded it for that, I just want to see how this one does and learn from it. That's really all I have. Um, there is this one, I think is OBMP. Yeah, this one would be funny to trade. Um, not because I'm like a degenerate trader, but it would be just interesting if it could do like, you know, a first green day after doing this down training right here. Maybe that could be something nice because it trades with a lot of range. All right, it is 9.45 a.m. and I had one trade. I actually got out of it kind of early because I didn't like the way it was trading. It seemed super sketchy. And in this case, I was right. I didn't try to buy at this time any of these two stocks. I was just seeing if they were tradable on Schwab. But um, one thing I did do today was look at the second. So for example, um, I'm not necessarily interested in trading it right now, but let's just say 239 right here You know, it's looking like it's trying to hold support if you look at 945 is a time and then you look at the seconds is 45 seconds There's a chance that it might try to hold the support level and reverse the next minutes because a lot of these morning panic bounce plays work like that It has a downtrend as you can see here. It even got to 251. It's holding, it's holding, it's holding, it's holding. It closes at 252. Next candle here, the green candle. It opens at 252 and it does a run, right? You're trying to get in a, um, a level 2 reversal, in this case, morning panic bounce play. And um, I did try to place an order at 933 with that in mind, but I was just waiting. Um, I hesitated too much. I wanted to see confirmation. And um, it necessarily you know had to be something really clean it was a bit just too quick the way it did it um, I didn't mind really missing it because I wanted that confirmation and then it did try to get to VWAP but when it dropped near its lows right here I thought this could be a nice place to take an entry if it holds support you know the, and then I'm right in right at the lows but I kept watching um, for that kind of confirmation and you know it looked like it was gonna break under and it did it broke under it and then it had a sketchy wick here it got as low as 242 and then I got in at 937 when it looks like it went all the way back up this big wick right caught itself together and then I thought all right this thing might try to reverse you know now that it had that little panic from everybody selling especially because the volume was kind of low I've seen this where it kind of breaks the support level which was 25 and then with just a little bit of volume um, it makes a nice downtrend and then it catches itself and spikes back up I'm sorry this is a little too uh, too too uh, too like uh, <laughs> too much but I did take a buy at 937 very early in a minute at 25 it is actually trying to hold this level but I don't like it because it's like oh well, that's nice if it's gonna somebody's gonna actually take that somebody actually took two four five just 10,000 shares but you know that that kind of that was a nice turnaround actually held 
that's cool, but I don't really want to trade this thing right now, um, especially because of how sketchy it is. But one thing it does have in favor is that the volume is fading. So again, I was in at uh, 25, 937 right here, and it did spike as high as 255, but I just hated the way it was trading. It just felt like something was off. It wasn't really going to look nice. And then this candle right here, 939, it opened at 255. So you know the chances that this thing was going to form a red candle was super high because it was right at a resistance level and I thought if it makes a red candle I might try to downtrend some more I sold at um, 939 the same candle at 253 I'm actually kind of lucky I got 253 you know I was expecting to sell at 251 it wasn't gonna be a loss but it was gonna be like a tiny tiny gain or maybe break even and uh, that was a trade there just seven dollars it did hold this i'll keep watching but i don't like how there's a lot of people on the ask but sometimes that's what makes it turn around because then you know there's a lot of people on the ask so people want to buy them up and get in this trade so this was a crappy morning panic bounce play it wasn't really that clean looking but you know at the same time it's not too ideal because they had all this resistance maybe people are bag holding it and now they're trying to sell into these small movements yeah you know it could do that thing where it tries to drop back towards the lows and then hold maybe make a higher low and then it could try to turn around there isn't too much space between the bottom here and VWAP maybe 5% max and I was looking at uh, what was the other one IGEX but this one just kinda turned around a bit too quickly I didn't like the price action so much I didn't like the time that it tried to reverse sub penny. I don't mind missing this one. And I think AHFD, yeah, this one actually did do a reversal. That would have been kind of hard because 50 cent is like, I know not 50 cents, but like a 50 sub penny level. That could be like huge resistance. And it looks like it was, it did have a little fail right here, but then it actually broke through. That's cool. I don't necessarily want to trade sub pennies. Especially if I have to trade a large size on each rate. I traded this yesterday. This one did kind of work out, but um, it's not too ideal. This one, um, yeah, I just went over it. Not necessarily the best. SFOR. Maybe it's trying to retest the breakout level at one penny. Or I guess 10 cents, actually, not one penny. not really that ideal but I'll keep looking at it it looks like it's having a nice breakout though this one looks like spaghetti if it's gonna look, look like that I'm just gonna move it to the other watch list uh, this one is up trending maybe I can do some kind of like higher low setup you know based off of VWAP but this one already had a tiny dip under it I'll keep looking, but this is what I have right now, PUG. This one finally broke out of the range. That's pretty cool. I hope I can learn from this and maybe um, be in a setup like this in the future for some kind of swing trade. All right, 9.53, I actually just um, had another trade. You see this injection right here of just sketchy red prints? This thing just scared me out of my trade. <laughs> Um, but this one might try to turn around and there's still a lot of people selling on the ask but uh, You know it was a thing I was talking about where actually how this level had a spike and I said well Maybe if it tries to come back and put up like a higher low in theory, you know, maybe this thing can continue and I'm trying to look nice This thing just sketched me out. This is like the type of price action You see when somebody is a, trying to break a support level and it just has a really big panic afterwards I guess I traded this like too much of a chicken. I did trade a very small size, just a $200 position at uh, 24 flats. That was 950. I think I got like 2395 and that was 952. So right here, right, right before it turns around, I got in at um, 24 or I guess 2395. Um, and then it, Im it immediately worked, right? But then we had that sketchy looking injection thing and I placed a sell order at 953 and that was for 244 
now it's 245 by 246 there's still people on the ask but it could do the thing I was saying where you know people are just gonna buy it up anyway regardless um, and, you know this thing can try to finish a little nicer looking and continue the uptrend but I don't know maybe it's a little overdone that's nice look at the bid in the ask just lift it up let's see if anybody's gonna actually take yeah somebody took something I just got scared out because of that freaking random injection thing that was four dollars and fifty cents and this thing is at 249 out of curiosity what would that be at this point that would have been two yeah I mean every one is a dollar so I guess if I sold at 249 which was at the bid for a while <laughs> that would have been I guess nine bucks but it would have been a not so bad percent gain either yeah I just got kinda scared out by the way it traded that's a lot of people right there and that might be a little too much for the average turnaround I don't know so I would call this a morning panic bounce play higher low setup because this is the ultimate bottom and this is like the higher low and the one I traded which was back here at uh, 937 give or take was my entry this is like a morning panic bounce play that didn't ultimately work I mean it didn't hit VWAP so it's not really an ideal morning panic bounce play it wasn't a nice one but this is much cleaner um, not necessarily just trading this although it did try to hold this level for a few minutes showing that it could be a level to risk off of than to just trade this random spiky wiki mess but this is the higher low setup I'd probably be selling now if I somehow held because of the fact that it might yeah this thing closed as a red candle I would probably consider selling if not everything half and that still would be just a little better than my um, sell at 244 but I'll make an update to see what this one does eventually that's the second trade right there I can consider AHFD for a higher low morning panic balance play higher low but uh, maybe not because I don't like the way it is looking um, it did fail that 60 sub penny level the other day ultimately so that's not really necessarily in its favor IGX looks weird maybe it's trying to be a reversal day which is cool um, not necessarily something I want to trade but that is some nice looking price action for sure sketchy too PEGE nothing that I want to trade yeah I just took that one thing with um I need to remove this thing I need to um, keep looking but yeah that was a setup there with AOYI in theory 244 by 248 the goal would be the sell into VWAP or in this case I would have been out because you know we just had a red candle although I guess it was trying to hold now it just broke under that is some sketchy price action alright I'll make an update later alright it is 1028 and I want to make an update on my thoughts as of right now with these runners AHFD could be a morning panic higher low setup panic bounce and then I guess this yeah it's kinda like a higher low although this one had a wick right here the issue is that the volume is just drying up it failed yesterday the daily chart doesn't look too ideal it could actually continue to downtrend a lot of people are at this you know magic level sub penny 50 cent level and you know this thing can do it but it's just not worth the risk reward for me to consider a sixteen hundred dollar position because I would have to trade this on E-Trade I just don't think it's worth it AOYI is continuing to downtrend maybe this will continue the downtrend is not the best daily chart but if it looks super clean I will do what it says here and consider this for um, 11 a.m. 1130 a.m. reversal this is the case with AOPP this thing is continuously downtrending is actually kind of impressive I'm actually wondering if this thing is shortable on Schwab let's see I guess I can't tell I have to remove some stuff here let's remove this one this one's never available yeah AOPP shortable on Schwab 
it's not like I'm interested in shorting it now. I'm just wondering if in theory it could have been shortable. I did see this move here, but I thought this was kind of sketchy the way it would gap up and stuff like that. But if this thing continues a downtrend, and maybe it's down like 20, 30 percent, you know, maybe these are dumb newbie thoughts and it will never do it. But I might consider a reversal only around after 11 a.m. If it looks like it's trying to continuously downtrend and then maybe around that time it could try to turn around. SFOR, this one became um, a stock under 10 pennies. I think I went over this one already, but if I didn't, I just don't like the way it's failing. In theory, it was supposed to try to hold this 1054 level, and then when it was trying to here, right, and then it failed and then it broke again. I want to really consider this for like an 11 a.m. reversal. That only works on setups that are at least down, if you ask me, 15%. Ideally 25 30 percent, but at least 15. IGEX is nothing I want to trade and could try to reverse today, though it's not, it is trying to float off of VWAP, but I don't really like it. PUGE, I have no interest in this one, and this one will be interesting if it breaks it. Uh, I was thinking about that VWAP setup, so here was a dip under it, it was very small, but then this one was a lot bigger, right? So I remember talking about this previously, but this one ended up being bigger, so I wasn't interested in it. But then this one actually was a higher low off of this, and you can even call this maybe an inverse head and shoulders. So there is some kind of potential probability that it actually makes a move, but it is like a stock that's traded a lot before. So it could have bag holders, although the volume here is very nice, so it might be a little different. This one can try to break this level. It could also reject. I might even throw in a very small position, but uh, yeah, this one could try to do it. It looks like an ascending triangle. I'll be looking at P, uh, BTZI, but um, you know, I'm not in a hurry to trade anything. And ALPP, ideally, if it continues a downtrend, it might do some kind of nice... 11 a.m. reversal. All right, it is 11:02 a.m. and I was watching BTZI super carefully. I'm not extremely sure for how long, but you know, was that thing that I was talking about that maybe it could try to hold itself? Maybe you know, it put a low here, and then this was a lower low, but then this one was higher, making this an inverse head and shoulders, and then it had this little resistance level right here that um, at least right now held right and then it kind of did this downtrend right here and I thought maybe it might try to do some curving action and try to break out later but I just didn't really like the way it was trading and then I thought it would have been nice if maybe you know it gets towards VWAP at some point or maybe dips just slightly under it but still higher than here and then work itself forwards and do like a 12 you know a um, 12 p.m. breakouts but uh, it absolutely got rejected, at least for right now. I could try to do something else, but that definitely killed my interest, so I'm no longer interested in it. AHFD looks like the Sahara Desert. ALYI, it's nothing interesting. I don't want to necessarily trade it, unless it does like an 11 a.m. reversal. Which at this point it might not do, because it's it would have to have you know been at its lows, and right now it would have to head in that direction first before I could do something like that so I'm probably not going to trade it also it's not the best daily chart for something like this ALPP is trying to hold itself maybe you can call this an inverse head and shoulders but I'm not going to call it that I'm not going to be interested in trading it IGEX is having a very sketchy attempt at trying to be a reversal day but I'm not necessarily interested in that PUGE I'm not interested in it either it looks like it's fading the overall markets aren't really down so yeah um, I think I'm gonna just probably call it off for right now and maybe look at the markets later but I don't see anything anything yeah I don't see anything anything that I want to trade okay just a quick update 1106 a.m. I just really want to know I probably should have looked at this but um, just by um, I guess in theory it's kinda hard maybe it's like a hindsight 2020 kinda thing but you know, a trend line here shows that this thing actually failed right after it, you know, went under the trend line, but I don't know, maybe that would have been kind of hard to do because, oh yeah, I failed now, it's about the trend line, right? But if you were to just base it off of this panic bottom right here, 
or not really a panic bottom but definitely a bottom and then this more significant bottom it did break this level I, I might have to remember to look at that I think I forgot what stock it was but there was one yesterday where I had a trend line actually before it broke under it and I noticed that it was failing the trend line and then it did actually break so I just wanted to note that I should probably consider um, whenever I see a setup like this to see if there's a trend line I can try to draw it and see if it's trying to follow it or not or if it's just you know um, a hypothetical and it's like you know not actually doing anything so that's pretty interesting here um yeah I'm probably not going to trade anything else today but maybe if there's something nice in the afternoon or like a first green day stock that I haven't seen yet I might consider that Alright, it is 12.03. I just want to make an update on this thing that I've been watching. Uh, I think the last one was around right here, and it did turn around. Sure, it did, but I don't like the way it turned around. Maybe I was a little too nitpicky with all of these little baby price action moves, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, it, it went from 2.5, uh, no, 2.62 to 3.76, so, what, it's like 8%. I should probably focus on things that offer more range, but obviously this thing can continue the uptrend and close and make a super nice uh, third day. It's already up 23%. It could do more, but um, yeah, that's nice. I mean, I just uh, I don't like this, but you know, it's it's not unreasonable either. You know, it definitely failed here when I was looking at it a lot, but at least it did try to move, even if it broke under the trend line. It's trying to hold it. At least it was. Now it's a bit under it, but. Um, I yeah, just wanted to make a quick update on that. Alright, it is 727 and I am here to call it off and also take a look and see what has happened after the last recording. Today I was up <laughs> just $12. It wasn't really ideal. The morning panic bounce play setup didn't necessarily work with ALYI. I traded it two times and um, the first one was back here at 937. It was what was to me a super sketchy morning panic bounce play I had a quick sell because I just didn't really like the way it was doing it. it it just wasn't looking very nice and then you know I got out I saved myself because the thing did ultimately fail I had my sell there and then I bought again at 952 which was back into this range right here I believe yeah 952 right here when it just looks like it was trying to turn around at 24 it did get as high as I mean, yeah, it almost got to, yeah, it did get to 25. I was kind of shaking out because it, it just looked a bit sketchy. And as you can tell by these wicks, it just has like this random, you know, um, just injections of just red prints going through the time and sales, knocking down the price. And it just wasn't really an ideal move. It did turn around eventually, but that was not something I would have been really that interested in. It didn't really do much afterwards and it's a red day so it's probably not going to be in the main watch list for the rest um, of this week unless it's just some kind of crazy reversal AHFD this isn't what I call an 11 a.m. reversal even though it did reverse at this time period it wasn't down like a very 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 nice number it just wasn't something that kept constantly breaking the day lows and doing something nice like that and also I just didn't like the range I mean you're in at best case scenario you hit you were hit at the bid 45 at the ask 48 that's not good range so it was never um, like a tsunami type panic setup because VWAP was just super close AOPP never really turned around um, I mean sure it did this move here but I would have liked it if it was at its lows like right here when it was around 11 then I would have maybe have considered it but that wasn't a case it did hit VWAP and I guess this was like a number six pattern the short towards the end of the day after it had that move here and then it just kind of failed to regain itself above VWAP and it just continued a downtrend but that's like a really long term setup I'm not necessarily the best at that it's going to take a while for me to be able to trade I think something that takes that much time SFOR I guess it did reverse, but again, not ideal. It wasn't down like 20, you know, 25% on the day, 30% for an 11 a.m. reversal. Even though they are kind of showing that it did some kind of reversal, it wasn't really, you know, an ideal setup for me. Um, IGEX, nothing. Yeah, really nothing. It might, it might be like a nice Green Day setup, a reversal setup, 
and I might take a consideration maybe if it has a nice morning spike and then it downtrends and then it puts up a higher low kind of like FER and I think maybe two weeks ago something like that but yeah that, that's where it is right now just nothing I want to do with it PUGE it is trying to hold above the breakout level but yeah it, it is the way that it is just a little weak looking but it does seem to make a move I wasn't really that interested in it and this one did work out I just really got thrown off by this drop here and maybe I was being a little too intricate looking at all the small details but you know it did continue the uptrend it got as high as 14 so again not the best range that was the main issue here maybe if it had more volume and more range that would have been a lot nicer but that's all I got it wasn't really ideal the two setups because they didn't really work out it wasn't like yesterday um, with AHFD that worked out I just didn't get full size uh, the setups weren't really that ideal but I did trade them I did do my best super conservatively that's really all I have for today uh, just a great experience overall thankful for God and um, yeah God willing I'll be here tomorrow and I'll continue to be doing the same thing and maybe one of these days I can really nail a setup and also be uh, full size